What's going on guys, it's me, Bunchable21, and welcome to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Um, I was just felt like doing another one as well, and also this was supposed to come out on the 20th, but I'm hoping I'm uploading this on the 21st, and it's that I want to do a pack openings on the soul, on the new um, little pack that's at the shop at the moment, which came out yesterday, but I didn't have the time yesterday, but it's called the Absolute Inferno, and it's pretty much got a ton of like fire type support cards, and they're quite insane as well, and there's some really cool ones as well to get, like obviously Red Dragon, Arch Strange, um, the Ritual, actually the three sinks are quite good, um, this monster here, I can't remember, it's Vice Dragon, I remember using that back in the day. And yeah, there's some really good support for fire monsters as well, but obviously the main ones are definitely the three Synchros and the Ritual, and that level 5 monster is what I'm mostly I'm trying to look for as well. And also they've put in Dark Bribe, which is a bit of a risky card though, because your opponent doesn't get to draw one card after you negate something, which um, I'm not too sure people really use, but this is your, your Duel Links as well. And um, yeah, well, you may vote from the title as well, we're going to be opening at least like 100 packs as well of this, so... That's going to be really epic as well, though. Um, obviously, though, I'm going to use it with the gems as well, because then, if I'm correct, though, that's going to be 5,000 gems we've used, and you're wondering how I get these gems. Um, just playing the game, loving up the characters as well, like that as well, and, yeah, that's pretty sick as well. Now, I'm not sure how I'm going to speed this, but I'm going to try and aim this video around 20 minutes long, so I apologise if it goes a bit overboard as well, but don't worry, though, we will try and um, make sure it's a good video as well. And also, yeah, again, I'm trying to upload this on the um, 21st of... February of 2019, sorry, but I do hope that's one, and I also hope, hope you guys enjoy um, the Far Cry episodes as well, which I've been enjoying so far, obviously though, I'm not going to read every single type of card though, I'm just going to tell you, I'm going to stop, and okay, I feel like we've got a good card now, and I believe that's the, oh, send two level monsters from your deck to graveyard, that can be actually quite good though for the level deck actually as well, because I remember seeing some plays with that as well, also, I just forgot to mention, that is a ritual card we needed to get as well, and we just got a second one, so that's really good as well if we can get maybe house i don't know if people run two or three copies in dual links though as well but um yeah we can find out as well oh oh damn this looks really good i think we've just got the we got um level full and um, lakeside lady so that's not a bad card as well and um, let's open up another pack um we get some i like this synchro monster i really do and oh this is a really good one it's got a short cost though but you have to have the right materials in the graveyard but yeah i don't know if we can get red dragon arch fiends in the past oh you just saw it right there that three-headed monster um i remember some people using that back in the day but i prefer some of the skulks had more attack points and they were both two big one monster but um the one would just had which probably better but yeah i'm also recording this ipad so obviously the picture quality is not going to be that um high spot we definitely needed a ritual card as well to have summon the ritual summon the nymphus monster which um i definitely think that that's really good as well and also this is a really guardful lava monsters because it doesn't it's not once per turn as well though so that's really good as well also just to mention yeah you may have seen it there was a knife and then there was a, a spoon there's a fork as well and it's really weird as well i remember that from zexon i think it was the dark side of um the art uh, of god's sake um uh y yuya i think not yuya i think oh, it might be yuma yeah i think it's yuma from zexel um astral yeah the evil side of astral i believe used that as well so yeah it's quite crazy as well but here we go open up another five i mean 10 packs as well though and um yeah that's just crazy as well i was just thinking yeah i remember seeing that card as well and i saw it in the pack as well and i'm like to myself yeah that's familiar as well so that's pretty joke as well though so that's good. Um, I wouldn't say this is a bad one. If you're like a fire type player, like I know there was just a soul burner duel like last week, and now we've just got blue made versus Bowman. I'm a bit worried about who's going to win, but um, yeah, I, I I really do feel like um, blue Maiden should win. But then Revolver and Playmaker haven't had a duel, which I think it's obvious that um, Playmaker will duel um, Lightness. But we got something really good in this, and is it a Synchro? No, it's um, a yellow monster. Um, okay, this is a really good level four uh, with 2,000 attack for a dragon. Oh. I can't remember what rarities are for these, but that we got a Synchro. Can it be Red Dragon Archfiend? That's that's probably the third best Synchro. I think that's probably out of the possible ultra rares, but um, that's definitely impressive though. We've got that as well, and it's a really handy monster with level. So pretty much though, you could shovel two lava monsters from your graveyard into the main deck to target one card your opponent controls, return it to the hand. If it's like a monster from the extra deck, it goes back into the extra deck, but um, that's not bad as well. Then they have to re-synchro it or summon it again. And that was the um, other one we just saw, the fourth one as well. So that's definitely um, um, quite handy as well though. So yeah, definitely getting this was quite good. I thought we got um, the other two synchro because I remember using this one here, Chaos, Ca Chaos King Artifage, pretty much the when it attacks, it switches him and the attacking monsters, bow positions, like for example, it only has 2600, so that's not hard to swap, but it does require a fiend monster, and a, mon a fiend tuner monster, sorry, and then a fiend monster soul. Also, you probably wondered, what does it mean by reset box? Um, it just resets the whole packs, which I 
don't know if that's good if or not. If you've got the best cards out, then I don't see the point. Of, I don't mind saying reset it because then you want to get another copy of Red Dragon Arch Fiend. I can get that. I get what you mean as well. But um, yeah, though, and I might actually build a deck as well. Oh, we just got another um, possible high rarity. And what on earth was that? What on earth was that? I just saw. That was a weird. Um, I don't know the actual or the rarities of the sparks again though, but um, I feel like you get one out You get like a few I'm about one to two out of a ten pack opening as well though So yeah, that's pretty cool as well. But I definitely want the two other two synchros That's what I'm mostly looking for as well and the ritual as well Which we know so pretty much if we see a blue monster, um, it's probably gonna be at the back as well though So you better keep in mind on that as well um, opening some more packs as well um, Yeah, that's not bad to pick as well though what we've just got so I'll keep that as well. Let's buy another. This is our fourth stage of packs. Um, I pretty much predicted this is going to be 31 to 40. Uh, let's just see how well we can do in opening these as well. So we get Red Raccoon, um, nothing much as well. Also, you can only have 10,000 gems maximum, just to say that. Or you really can't go over like 10,001. You have to go below it as well. But um, oh my god, please tell me we got the Synchro. I was just going to say, is it the Archfiend Synchro? But yes, we get the Archfiend Synchro. That's epic. Oh my god, you have to smash on like today's video as well though. That's just... That's really cheered me up. Or is this the other Synchro? Oh my god, this is the other ritual we needed. Oh, it's level 2 though, but um, I think it's level 8, the other one, or is it level 7? I can't remember. But um, I actually thought we just got the other ritual there as well in this um, 10 packs as well, which um, would have been sick as well if we did get it. But um, yeah, I would admit though, in the usual packs, you get between 5 or sometimes 7 cards, or maybe perhaps more, but these are just packs of 3 though. Oh, that's a really good monster actually for um, um, the Fire Fists, so yeah. That's a really good one as well. Also, I think Fire Fists are all the archetypes in this as well. I can't remember. Um, oh yeah, there is some more support from them, but I think there was another pack you needed to open as well to get um, more of the Fire Fists as well, though. So, yeah, that's not too bad actually as well, I will say that. Also, Toshi up there, the rarity as well. So, there's pretty much five more Ultra Rares to get, though, as well. So, we might get all the five. I don't know really, though. It's just, I would just say it's kind of luck as well now. Oh. Oh, imagine those red dragon arch things. That's now the only synchro for um, an ultra we really want as well. But um, yeah, though. God, I keep getting lucky. Oh, 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 this could be the ritual monster. Um, that's the ritual monster. Um, that's that's absolutely insane. Though we just got that ritual monster. I can't believe. It. I hope I'm recording this properly. But um, that's sick though. We got Sigrid Phoenix of Nephius. That's sick though. And pretty much though, it's a destroy effect though monster and. That's just absolutely mental as well though. I'm very pleased with that. Can we now get... The only card I really want to get is Vice Dragon and Red Dragon Arch Fangs. Because I love those two cards. Pretty much um, the Jack Atlas's um, monsters back in the Synchro day. So you used them quite a lot as well. I did see two Synchros but um, it wasn't what I wanted. But pretty much though I bet it explains full effect. Um, you can ritual someone using the whatever. I can't pronounce that properly. But um, you can only use each of the effects of this monster's name once per turn. And pretty much during the main phase, you can destroy one Nephys card in your hand or face up the field. Then destroy an equal number of monsters your opponent controls. And that's quite cheeky. And then this is what happens. And if you destroy this monster during the standby, it gets this effect. Or if you use another Nephys monster to destroy it itself, it does this. During your next standby phase, after this card is destroyed by battle or by a card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can pretty much summon it from the graveyard, and that's really unique as well, though. But then you can't use the effect where it just destroys something as well. But I believe we're now halfway, so um, yeah, let's do some more. But that's just really cool, and that's the point of Memphis, is you want to destroy. But the problem is, though, it's that bit, if you destroy, it could trigger some effects off. Like, for example, um, I believe if you destroy... Um, I remember there's a card where um, if it was destroyed by a card effect, you end your turn automatically. I know it was like, it was like some sort of... Um, I can't remember, it's like a, a Meow Cat toy, I can't remember, I'm not sure that's the exact name for it, but that's all I can remember exactly, kind of, of what it was as well though. I was probably wondering, yeah, there's only one copy of each of these as well, so um, I might refresh the pack and get some, like, that's what I mean by reset the box though, it resets it all again, and then you can get a better chance of it as well. Like, I might contain, like, I might run just two copies of the Ritual Monster, I'm not sure about the level 2 though as well. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure as as well though, but that's just cheeky as well if we want to do as well. And um, it says there there's a sale on the swell where you can pretty much buy um, pre packs and then get a guaranteed super rare for about £2, which isn't that bad of a deal, if I must be honest with you. So, um, yeah, but I might make a level deck or something, but that'll probably be within the week. I'm not 100% sure though. But we've got now a third copy of the Ritual spell, which I'm happy at least, because you just want to really have three copies of it, and then um, you might just try out the rest of them as well. Um, okay, that's not a bad card, but um, 
I swear there was a card where um, if it was a chain link three or higher, you get to send as you get to send a card from the field to graveyard. But that's just based off luck and how it's performed as well, though. So you want to get lucky on that as well. But um, yeah, that's just not much really though. We got new in that because it gets a bit harder for what we need. And I feel like we're only opening three more packs as well, though. So. Yeah, that's going to be a bit risky as well. No, only three more packs. So, let's get lucky. Oh, I thought it was it uh, that just then, but it's not. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, but I'm keep checking the recording. It. Oh, I thought it was the Synchro. Oh, but we got Dark Bribe. Um, I'll take that, actually. I will actually take that. That's not bad, though. But please, can we get Red Dragon Arch Fiends? And, um, oh, yeah, we got the other Ritual Monster as well, though. So, that's definitely um, impressive as well, though. But I can't believe... I have not had Red Dragon Archfiend. We've had the other cards as well, though, which is quite ridiculous. Also, I may have noticed that the sound might be really weird on this now. I'm not too sure. Oh, we got Idenix. I forgot. Yes, Vice Dragon. Thank you. We just end off by getting Vice Dragon. We got two Ultra Rares, actually, in these 10 packs. We got Dark Bribe and Vice Dragon. I'll accept that. Pretty much with Vice Dragon, you get to summon it if you control no monsters. And, but it's attack and defense is halved, and then pretty much Dark Bribe negates a spell or trap card, but your opponent gets to draw one card, which is a bit of a risky move though, but um, I, I feel like some people have used that back in the day. Oh god, I didn't mean to use that. Sorry. Don't, I don't. I might, I might actually buy that if we don't get Raja Gunnard Finch. I'll have to have a minute think really though. Oh, I do have the money though, but um, oh. Uh, I thought we had the Synchro then. Please sit. When I see the Karibos, or um, I'm playing in the dual mods as well, we saw some of the event going off, but I keep seeing the character or the Karibos. Um, I, I just get a bit excited though, which is just nice as well. But um, it'd be nice if it's just Red Dragon Archers. We're pretty much over halfway now. We're, 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 we're pretty much halfway now um, after this pack of um, the cards. But please, Red Dragon Arch Fiend is literally the one card I really want now of the set. I will point out some others but yeah again i am not the expert on this as well though so definitely um red dragon arch fiends oh my god there's only two ultra rares we're missing uh probably another copy of the ritual and the that spell card you run in levels um i burn it a bit like the fire fist cards actually though are really good if you're running a fire fist deck as well i'm not quite sure what else would be good as well though but um i think we've already got three lava cannons so that's gonna be really helpful as well though when it comes to the time but yeah um I presume this is our last pack, um, pack of cards, sorry, so pack of 10, so, um, can we please believe in the heart of the cards and get the right card, but, um, doesn't seem like we are gonna get it, which is a bit unfortunate, hold on, um, god damn it, no, please, seriously, actually give us the cards, I really want it, I might buy one more though, because I have named this thumbnail, all this project of the video, um, plus 100, so we might open up 110, or I might change the title to 110, I'm not 100% sure though, if we don't get, um, Red Dragon Arch Fiends, but please, seriously, no, come on, oh no, <laughs> we didn't get anything, we've, we've pretty much had all but two Ultra Rares, really, oh, for God's sake, I am going to buy another 10, just because I'm um, plus up, well, just one more chance, really, though, out of the 10 packs, and then I am going to stop, because I am saving up gems for, like, another time, though, and just, I don't know, as well, I will spend a little bit, though, just to make sure I don't overstack as well, though, but, um, still, though, that's really, really annoying as well, though, but I think Jack Atlas has a skill where you get Rad Dragon Archfiend in your extra deck, and I thought it was just then, and, um, a copy of some tuners, and these tuners are mainly, um, the Resurrectors, um, tuners, they are sometimes good, sometimes aren't bad as well, they are quite low level as well, so you might need to remember that. And they are tuners as well, though. But, um, last pack, please. Luck? No. Oh my god, it's Kyber. Oh, no, it's not a Synchro. God damn it, we didn't get it. Um, I'm glad we got that Rituals. We got, well, we've already have three copies of them. Um, ritual spell. And um, this is actually a tuner monster as well. Um, 2,000 defense is not bad for level 1 monster, if I must be honest with you. But, um, god damn it, though. We didn't get Red Dragon Arch Fiend or this other ultra rare known as living fossil um not quite too sure about this i think this is you doing gx i think i'm not the actual expert but um we got one copy of the witch war monster so that's not bad and i don't think i think we've already had a copy of you i can't remember but um yeah you can pretty much out buy the packs and then you get the rest of them as well though which um i kind of find a bit silly though there's more than three but you only need three and then that's it and then there's that some sort of banners and stuff like that as well so um yeah, we didn't unfortunately get the card we wanted as well, which is a bit unfortunate as well, though, so that's a bit sad. But I'll tell you about this event that's going off at the moment. Um, it's pretty much from Dual Monsters, where, um, oh, I swear they were here a minute ago. Um, I might check in the events, stuff like that. Hold on. Um, yeah, Loomis and 
Umbra are here. So pretty much these guys from Dual Monsters and um, it's pretty much a tag team, but you're pretty much versing two of them and they just show on the same deck or some masks. Um, but yeah, though, they're from the anime and manga as well though. And also you can get some cards from them as well though. I'm not too sure if you complete, um, if I go to the challenges or in the missions and you go to special, um, it says that if you beat them five times, you get the final card. I don't know if you get them as a playable character as well though. I'm not 100% sure though. If you do, but um, oh, thanks for that. Actually, that's really generous. Oh uh, yeah, there's still that going off, but I feel like it is ending the moment as well. And also got some duels as well to do, but um, yeah, that's just really annoying though. We didn't get Rad Dragon Arch Ring though, but um, there are some other boxes here as well though. So that's pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. I don't know why there's one missing like there. I'm not sure what that's about. But um, yeah, though I do remember buying the the Ultimate Rising. Actually, though, can I tell you something? I was at the pub. Um, a few, a few moment, a few. I think it was like five days ago or something. I can't remember. And I actually managed to pull off. Um, see if it loads, and you're probably gonna guess what it's going to be. I don't think that's the one. No, where is it? Uh, da, 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 where is it? Yep, yeah, I pretty much pulled out the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. So that's really epic spot. I have three, uh, three copies of Blue Eyes and um, Pomerization. So that's gonna be easy to summon. Um, you were swap, but then there's now one with an effect, which um, probably people are going to pick, but that's quite hard to get, if I'm correct as well, though. But guys, I do want to say thank you very much for watching today's video. I unfortunately have to end off today's video. I don't want to go over it as well. I'm hoping this will be uploaded on the 21st. I am trying to aim my goal like that as well. But guys, I do hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, share your friends, and also subscribe to the channel with notifications on to see my latest videos up. And also, yeah, I'll try and make some sort of level deck and um, just show it to you as well so that will probably be uploaded within the week as well and um yeah again though i have pre-recorded about five more five brand new dual so i think i just uploaded episode four on the 20th of, of this year of this month sorry but um yeah but guys do want to say thank you very much for watching today's video and i'll see you all in the next episode have a nice day everyone take care goodbye <laughs>